So first, let me share my screen with you. Are you guys able to see my screen? Okay. So uh, this session will mainly focus on Notion. So this is just a, a, like a small introduction to Notion so that you will be able to sign up, create your account, and uh, have the clear roadmap in, uh, on how to use a Notion. So this is actually the logo of Notion uh, that you are seeing over here. So we will, in this session, we will see introduction, key features of Notion, and why we are uh, expected to use Notion, and then how Notion will help us in project management. And then at last, we will see real world applications, and we will try to create some landing pages using Notion so that you will. Uh, for the, your first task is to create a landing page so uh, and you will follow up with, with creating databases and uh, embedding other tools like uh, type form and other things so like these are all your tasks from the challenge document so you will be able in order to be uh, to be uh, to have a clear understanding of those tasks uh, this session will help you we will just see an overview of on how to use notion at, at the end uh, so like as an introduction uh, notion it's a, a single space where you can think write and plan and then you can also capture your thoughts and manage projects so like uh, while doing all these tasks you can do it on whatever uh, on whatever strategy or uh, on what on whatever way you want so like notion is in short it's all in one workspace for not taking project management and collaboration so it's also used for to create pages databases and task management and there's no coding in notion so next one will be the key features for notion so the first one is pages in which you are going to be able to write nodes and embedding embed files and create wikis and then the next one is databases on databases you you are able you like databases the, the use of database is uh, like in order to know uh, what you the data of that uh, specific things that you are uh, you are doing so databases they use tables and borders so that you can organize tasks if you are uh, assigning tasks in the database uh, and then attend this it might be attend this also or it might be deadlines so databases it's uh, it's like where you can organize uh, whatever data you are including in the notion and then the next one is templates uh, in notion you have templates where templates are pre-built layouts for event planning to do lists or project management we will see it while using the notion and another key features of notion uh, not include over here but the the best key feature of notion is uh, everything is uh, like uh, everything is uh good. its base foundation is block so like blocks it's they are in short foundation of any page any page that you are going to build in notion so like if you are using the software to manage projects track productivity or keep organized notes you will you you will want to familiarize yourself with um with those blocks in the table or that while creating a database so like blocks are each elements in that uh, specific uh, things that you are doing for example if it's page uh, each 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 element uh, they are considered to be block so like understanding the block it will help you to understand over all the block foundations so like next uh, on notion we have text editors uh, and then we have also we we can also save and display bookmarks and then uh, in notion we can use database as we have already mentioned and we have checklists so when you check when you make the check it will just automatically erase it uh yeah and other public pages 
yeah, uh, and these whole features are contained in Notion. So, for example, if you wanted to use a ready-made event template to organize schedules, you have it. Uh, since we have already mentioned that there is a pre-built layouts uh, in Notion. So it's not only for event planning. We have also like, for example, it might be uh, uh, for another scenario. Also, we have a notion maybe like for to, to list tasks or another scenario. We have uh, we may have uh, pre-built templates. So the next one is. You are able to see my screen, right? Yeah, I thought I stopped sharing. So, like the next one is why use why are we why are we using Notion? So the first reason will be it's flexible. So since uh, it has a, a customized workflow to fit for for every project or for whatever project you have, from event planning to team co collaboration, you have it all in Notion, and then. The next one is real-time collaboration. You can share and edit pages with team members instantly. For example, if one team member is working on one page and another team member can work also in another page. And in Notion, we, you don't have any code. You don't. You are not expected to have any type of code knowledge since it's uh, code free or we don't have, uh, we have no code. So you can, even if without using code, you uh, it's a place where you are able to create databases, forms and timelines with just simple drag and drop tools. So this, this end uh, notion is basically, it's used for a lot of different uh, uses. So these are just the, example so uh, how notion can help us in project management uh, the first one is like centralized workflows as we have already mentioned all tasks deadlines and documentation it can be uh, placed in one place even if it's organized and uh, it will uh, in an understandable way for each team member uh, and then the next one is task tracking and scheduling you can use kanban board calendars and lists to task progress so like you can uh, follow up you can track the tasks that are assigned for each uh, assignees in notion and then you can collaborate in real-time updates so you can share pages, assign tasks, and comment in real time. Since in Trello, you have already seen on how to assign uh, like the individuals that are responsible for the tasks, you can also do that in Notion. Uh, and the next one is integration with other tools. Uh, in Notion, we can integrate, like for example, if you wanted to include a Google Meet, uh, a Google Calendar, or Slack, we can integrate it with another tools. Uh, yeah uh, by putting a link or like just we can integrate it with another tools so the next one is uh, real world applications uh, some of the real world application of notions are event planning team collaboration and personal use in event planning you can uh, we can create an event page and then we can manage the guests that are going to come and then we can track the tasks that are uh, expected to be done in the during the event planning we can also assign uh, assignees or individuals that are responsible for the task and we can track the progress of the tasks and then the next one is team collaboration so we can share project timelines assign tasks and monitor pro pro task task progress which i have already mentioned and then for for personal use you can use it as to organize tasks track habits and then set reminders so these are just uh, some of the real world applications it's basically it's more of used uh, in project management notion so like we have a lot of resources over here uh, like the the best resource i have that i have already found is uh, notion documentation so you can understand over here what whatever like you wanted to see for example if you wanted databases pages and blocks uh notion apps data and integration um like for database also how you can 
view filter and sort database properties all of the, like all of uh, table view how to board the view and lots of different uh, aspects or uses of notion i think like the wi-fi is a little bit late that's why we are not able to see it maybe if we can't see maybe table view okay so like you have a lot of different things over here there is also notion ai where we have also notion ai maybe let's open it uh like when you are using the notion there there is uh for example actually let's see it while using the notion uh, to clear out things so uh, this is just a simple introduction and let me start uh, using Notion so that uh, we can see just simple examples. Mm. This is just a simple, uh, take simple uh, event page or it's not actually event page but landing page for a conference 2024. So like over here, you have uh, an image. It's a background image. So if you wanted to change it, you can use this. Like it, automat it automatically changes. If you wanted to upload and change, you can upload over here. And yeah, you can, you can select from whichever image you want from the provided one. So this is a title. Uh, and then this is just a same page. Yeah, this is what I wanted to say previously. You can say uh, you can use Ask AI so that if you wanted to include, for example, include for me, include in the introduction. Introduction. Uh, if I say it, it's like this like it tries to provide me just an introduction before even I wrote it. So this is also one advantage, one feature of Notion. And then we have the event schedule. Uh, this is not, uh, we can make it more detailed while, okay. Okay, so I think Yeah, there is still like a uh, network error. If if it works, we will see it together. So uh, you will list out uh, you will list out the timing and the events that are going to be held. You can make it detailed as I have already mentioned. And these are the speakers. Uh, you can also include photo of them. Like uh, you can include you you can include it still it's not generated i think like it's because of network but you can you you can use this feature also like uh this is what uh, this is also the result of ask ai in notion so next like we can see we can see like this is a database so uh this is a table view of database so uh, we have First, for example, in my database, I wanted to store in conference 2024 attendees. So uh, I will, uh, I wanted to include first name over here and last name, and then the email of each attendees, and then the event. Uh, the event is actually the same for all, and ticket type if they are VIP, normal, or VVIP. So this is uh, the how you can use databases. Uh, this is just one scenario. So let me show you if it's okay. Uh, for example, this is uh, this is table view of database. And then if you want, if you wanted to use a uh, board view, I think there is a problem with the network. So if you if you wanted to see a board view of actually, we can use this one. Yeah, I think it, this one is a board view. So, and then this is a time view, a uh, table view. So, let's return to the previous one. And 
still network here yeah but like uh this is a timeline if you wanted to use this view so you can include it but for my case i just wanted to use table view so this is how i'm going to do it uh like further going this is just an introduction as i have already mentioned so since you are going to have a detailed tutorial on how to create databases uh, on how to embed it with type form or other uh, tutorials it it uh, it will get more clearer through time so do you guys have any questions so far till now Do we have any question? Uh, maybe. Okay. Shall I continue? Okay. Yes, yes, continue. Okay, thank you for your good presentation. Maybe my question is uh, just as we have uh, show us on the why we use Notion, one of the Good things that we are going to use the notion is it integrates with slack google calendar like that one and i think there is one thing you said you mentioned it that i don't understand what is that one slack the other one is google calendar and i think third one is there is something maybe uh, how we can connect this notion with calendar or calendar or with slack are you going to do you have any other problem uh, program that you will show us or Honestly, like I didn't plan anything, but we can't try it together. No worries. So like, uh, in this, Think like uh, I'm having a network error, but okay. So uh, if it works, we will see it. Okay. I saw like uh, while waiting, the, if the network works, I will show you. But till that time, uh, we will just see if uh, like that how we can get templates. So still like yeah. So start with templates over here. Like over the last, you can see templates. So. You can choose whatever you want. For example, uh, in here, everything you need to plan your summer gateway. Maybe we can select it and see it. Uh, let's wait a little bit till it loads. Hello, Ethana. Yes, yes. Yeah, my network was off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, already I back. Uh, maybe do you hear me? My question. Yeah, yeah. I have already heard you. Uh, like I'm having a problem with the network, so uh, that's why. Okay. Yeah. But like you can see it over here right this is like how you can integrate a google meet for example with notion
as an example, but like the whole step, maybe I can share it on Slack since the network is not working as well. Maybe Tarafa, you can go on. Okay, so it, it seems to yeah, be working. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, can I keep continue? Yes, yes, continue. Yeah. Uh, maybe until the network will work for you. Uh, my question is like, there are different views uh, using this uh, notion. So yeah. there is table view, uh, board view, and list view, and so on. So yes. which one is commonly used, uh, especially in the project uh, implementation activities? Which one we can use it? And also, actually, the sec second question was already uh, raised by uh, CASA. So we are curious to see how we can connect this uh, with the other tools like Slack and others. So if there is also a demonstration for this uh, tutorial, it will be also helpful. Maybe you, you have already planned on that. It is it is you. So th thank you. But which one is commonly used for, for viewing using this notion? Thank you. OK, so like uh, just to answer it, uh, uh, it's like uh, you uh, you can't uh, maybe like table is commonly used, but uh, it might it might be different based on the scenario. For example, uh, you can see over here it's board. So for me personally, I prefer board. So you can also use table. You can see it right like in a table format. So. Uh, based on the scenario also like the previous one the one i provided you earlier uh, with the attendees list uh, like you can't uh, you won't be able to see it in another view for example if i turn it to be a board let's wait it if if it's working if it's were if it became a board it will just be simply like this one a card and then will only contain the name of the attendees so it won't be that much of uh, uh like more we we won't be able to uh transfer our message for the for for the uh like for the person that we wanted to share with with the notion so like it it might be different based on your scenario but most of the time uh if you are using for example in order to 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 list out a, a person or to just for example for this scenario we just included attendees so like it's better to view it in table since we are curious about uh who will come to this tech conference so but for this scenario, if you wanted to see a schedule or if you are including uh, in event detail, you will, uh, it's better for me personally to, to see it in a board view. So like uh, it, it depends on how you are going to like, how you are going, uh, how you are, how you wanted to transfer to like, to transfer your message for others. So, you can use list there is also list view gallery view and a lot of different things so uh, it will depend on the scenario that you wanted to include it towards that's it okay thank you thank you uh, maybe the follow-up yeah. question like uh, is there any uh, the, the kind of sequence, for example, in Trello, last time when we were taking a tutorial on Trello, we will start from the uh, working space and then the list and then to the cardboard. Uh, yeah. Also, we have seen that different features with their uh, respective uh, implementation. So okay. is there such kind of uh, scenario for this notion? Thank you. Yeah, actually, like, uh, if if you if you are new to notion and if you created a new account it will just display you with the home page so yeah with the home page so after that you if you wanted to create uh, a new uh, if you wanted to work on your tasks you need to create a new page so that you will be able to do all the ask it tasks so like first you need to create a page you and then you will just add a title for it 
so for example like this one i did it in this first i created a page and then i add it over here and then like next if you wanted to uh, if you wanted to include anything you will just type slash and then it will follow up if you wanted to embed a page inside a page if you for example like if you have uh, an event planning you might to want you you might want it to like you might want it in the format like you will have the event as an introduction and then you might you wanted to embed another page inside another page like you will have one page which will explain the introduction and an overview of the event and you will have another page which have a uh, detailed information about the event so like if you wanted to embed to embed page you will just do this one if you wanted to embed a to-do list you will you will use this one so like i'm just with the with the slash sign i'm able to select so like, if you have if you wanted to hit to include heading one, heading two, heading three, and table, bullets, toggle list. Uh, you know toggle list, right? Like it's um, top, uh, drop down. It's like that one. So if you wanted to do it like this, it's you can include also toggle list and other features. Uh, link to page, toggle list, code. Uh, you can also include audio code file if you wanted also to to include that to create a data a database you you can use with a table view board view gallery view and lots of different like if you want to also include chart and then uh, at the end here comes the uh, embedding so in uh, you can see over here which says in embed so you can embed for example google drive uh, figma uh, micro sketch pdf and a lot of like different tools trello slack so for example for slack you can just click and paste the slack that you that you the slack space uh, like the working space link so uh with yeah you can paste it over here so like uh, it will it will give you like the link this is too much of specification so yeah okay so uh, basically like you can do it like this for your question uh, Tarafa. and i'm also like including casa's question so maybe let's include it uh, let's click the link okay let's try with this one Okay, so like uh, this doesn't seem to be working. So it's because of selling. Maybe we can try to embed another thing. So you can maybe we can try with GitHub. Yeah. So like you can connect it. You can connect it with your GitHub. So. This is asking for verification, but like you can connect it uh, like uh, by clicking the embed sign. Hasa, have you checked it like on how to embed another tools with the uh, with uh, Notion? Mm, yes, but maybe when I try myself on the Notion, it may be it may be more clear. Yeah. So like you will just click the slash sign and then you can include maybe Google Drive. Mm -hmm. So or tweets or Google Maps uh, and different other things. So maybe like let me try to bring my drive. So. OK. 
okay let's take for this one i don't really know why it's saying unrecognized url but like uh maybe it's because it's too much specific so but uh, at the end of the day like you can embed using the embed uh part for for if you wanted to include another working environment so uh, by using this so maybe like uh, i will try it again and we'll share you why it's saying like this why it's bringing the error message yeah and uh, we'll also share you a clear like a clear outline on how to include how to embed other tools uh, with notion uh do you have any other question do you have any other question wendy stasi Aruye, amwali from sa Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe you come. Yes, I'm here. Uh, just uh, you show us, for example, for uh, project communication, we use Slack. For project management, we use Trilo and uh, Slack. I mean, uh, Notion is. Uh, and for our time management, we use calendars. Maybe, uh, how about for the financial and procurement management? Is, is there any other? platforms like this are uh, like notion trillo that we are going to use what's like financial management yes to control to uh, follow up our man financial uh, maybe expenditures like that was the, the profit uh, the exp expenses total uh, balances that we are going to have as a project manager we have to know our financial flow ups so how we are going to, I know there are some um, softwares that we are going to use for financial management in one project, like yes. uh, for example, Odoo's another analysis. But is there another simple thing? Uh, honestly, like from, uh, from my background, I don't know any other tools, but like uh, uh, there are a lot of different uh, budgeting tools like you are asking about financial budgeting so like there is something called zero uh, x x e r o so there is also called expensive high plan guru which is used for budgeting and approved.com uh fresh books and a lot of like different platforms so like uh i think plan guru is uh, a good one uh since it's mainly foc it mainly focus on budgeting and but like the uh, the drawback is they have a payment and you have a free trial uh, uh, period so that you you can use them in free but if i know any free tool i will let you know do we have another question Edwin. Uh, maybe uh, like uh, actually it's not the question, but okay. uh, when you get back to us, uh, especially how to connect with those uh, another tools. Okay. So in this case, maybe you can get our, our you can reach out to us using the Slack. So in the text form, so that we can read and understand it. Okay, no worries. I will make it. Uh, I will make sure to make it cl more clearer. Okay, uh, Fuad, you can continue. I, I, I think I saw a hand. Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, can you hear my voice? Yes, yes. Okay, like uh, today is I think my first day here. And I was just trying to catch up with you. And like, uh, but before before we proceed to, to, to that point, like, uh, I think like uh, a few hours earlier, like uh, we got, we we have got our first project, and like it's all about like uh, uh, building a ticketing like event, an an event like uh, platform. Okay. And, like 
So like, uh, I think Kero said that like, uh, all all thing is going to be done like uh, motion notion. So like, can you give us like a brief uh, a brief overview about like how is it going to be done? You're you're are you talking first? We'll come. And then, like, are you talking about a ticketing project on how to do it using a notion? Yeah, like uh, how uh, we are going to to publish the the landing page. So, like, you know, I have some confusion over that point. Like, I, I just want to ask this. So, uh, actually, like, uh, you can refer ChatGPT also for a better uh, and for a better like uh, out, uh maybe like for a better description but uh if uh, it's it's it all it will be based on your project so if you have a ticketing a ticketing project for example in my case you have seen it's uh, just a conference so uh, i specified the uh, description some will come uh, thickest and then a description about the event so like maybe you can add it over over here your uh, your project title and then you can uh, include also a description about the project uh, if we have admin and then uh, like uh, your customer uh, and then like the you front end and the back end all that stuff you can maybe uh, have a brief uh, a brief overview of your projects over here and then uh, i think for your case you don't have events and other stuff so like um, maybe f uh, you will use notion for your ticketing project so that you you can assign tasks for each team uh, if you have a front-end team your iux team or a back-end team who are going to develop in the project so that you can assign them a tasks and then you can uh, you can all the team uh, members can collaborate together in just one working space maybe like for that case you can consider using a notion okay uh like thank you for the answer but like so are you saying that uh all all this project all the parts of this project or the ta or all the tasks that are included under this project like can only be done using notion no i'm not saying like that you can consider using another uh, tools also. It's just one of, uh, we are just considering Notion as one of the uh, project management tools so that for you guys to have a good understanding about Notion and if you wanted to, to use it, you can investigate all the tools and then prefer the best one. So like you have seen Trello before and then uh, I don't know, uh, yeah i think we don't we didn't see jira but we have seen trello so like if you wanted to use uh, any tool from trello and notion you can consider one of them so we are going we are just going to see uh, features of notion while you are wor also working in the project you will get to understand uh, what are the best features of notion maybe like if it might be uh, appealing the appearance so you you will get to understand which tool to prefer from the project management tools so okay, that, okay. yeah like it's just for you to understand uh, what tools exist in project management and uh, on how you can use that each tools all right that was really a good explanation ikram thank you for for answering my questions thank you sure anytime at sanami you can continue Adesanami, if you are talking, you are muted. Yes, uh, thank uh, yeah. you for the presentation. Thank you, uh, it's a wonderful presentation. Um, I just want to ask that uh, concerning the notion, how do we get started with, uh, with, with it? Is it? Are we going to create an account for it or we sign in? or is it an app or I, I just want you to take us through the uh for the fundamental basis of okay. it so that okay. uh, so like, you know how to get started with the, with the notion thank you okay so like you are it's a, a website a platform 
so like you can just type notion and then search and you can sign up for login so uh, since i have already set up my account it will just direct me to the working space so if you wanted to if you wanted to start working with notion you need to sign up and login before create before starting with all the tasks uh, is that clear? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, okay. That, thank you. Is okay. But uh, is it something we can do on phone as well? Uh, yeah. But like, it might it will be more clearer to use laptop and uh, any desktop that you have. Uh, is that clear? At Sanami. Uh, at Sanami, okay. So, like, do we have another question from? Do we have any other question? So, like, if we don't have any question, I will make sure to share you on the specific steps on how to embed another tools with Notion, and then uh, I'll make sure to also share you the matter the slides. So, have a good day for all of you. Uh, just some reactions before we end the session.